Well, good morning, everybody. Today, I'm going to make something that I did test with. I didn't combine it all with my test, but separately, the ingredients seem to work. So today, I'm going to make some candy, and I'm going to call them straw upside down strawberry shortcake candy. And I'm going to use these candy molds, silicone. I'll put a link down below where I got them. They're pretty cheap off of Amazon and we're going to layer in the mold the bottom which will be the top of the candy we're going to layer cake uh, these uh, dessert shells which is like an angel food cake uh, strawberry and then top it off with the whipped cream so the bottom of the candy will be whipped cream the reason I'm doing them upside down is because my whipped cream does not freeze solid enough to pop it out of the molds and still maintain its shape and not lose you know the detail from the top of the mold so we're going to do it upside down and it should be quite fun so first thing we're going to do is make the, the bottom up layer of the mold with the cake and it seems a little bit counterintuitive probably but this is what I discovered. I bought these cakes and I discovered that if I add water and turn them into a mush, which doesn't sound very appetizing, but I assure you they come out really nice. Break all that up. And since I got a lot of molds here, I'm going to do a couple. I'll probably do all three cakes. Oops, make a mess, John. The water in this is making this into mush, almost like a very runny mashed potatoes. But what that does is when we freeze dry this, it makes the pastry or the cake very airy and not hard. So I mean, you can freeze dry that cake, you put it in a freeze dryer and it'll just turn hard. And it'll taste quite nice, but it's hard. These at least in my experiment, when I re uh, freeze dried the, the cakes with this water added, they came out the texture of, I want to say, cheese puffs, you know? They're not, they're airy, and they're melt in your mouth airy. And they, and they maintain all the flavor because the only thing I've added is water, and that water just disappears. So. You're not losing any flavor, you're just adding, introducing air pockets into the product. Okay, so we got that. I'm just going to add a dollop of this batter to each mold. Bearing in mind I want to keep enough room to put the strawberry and then a layer of whipped cream.
I just drop those to kind of get that to collapse out, and then I can see where I missed some right there. We'll get it all flat. And move on to the next mold. Pretty simple. Cue the music, John. Okay, so that's what I ended up with, which was five, five molds, different shapes, and I'm going to stick those in the freezer for a little while and let them firm up a little bit so that they'll hold the next layer without mixing. So I'll clean this all up, get these in the freezer, clean this all up, and we'll, I'll see you when I do the next layer. Okay, so I've had my uh, molds in the freezer for about 45 minutes and I just checked and it's starting to firm up pretty well. So I'm ready to mix up my second layer, which is going to be the strawberry. What I'm using is these uh, sugar added sliced strawberries. And I'm going to stick those in, some in the blender. I'll start with... Uh, I don't know, a half a cup. That's one quarter. We'll see what, I might end up putting more in there. That's a half a cup. And then I'm going to put a quarter cup of water. Again, the reason I'm watering this down is because that makes when it freeze dries the water goes away so you still end up with the same nice flavor but it makes it really airy which is more pleasant to eat than the hard ones let me show you I think I got a sample over here when I was doing my experiments okay. so this is a little ball I made with just pureed strawberries and it's very hard. Tastes good. Don't get me wrong. But I'm looking for a more cheese puffy texture. And this is the same pureed strawberry, but I watered it down. You see how that does that? That's what I'm looking for. So right now we got a half a cup of sliced strawberry sweetened with the juice that came in it and a quarter cup of water. Let me see how that looks. Yep. That's good, but I'm going to probably need some more. So I'm going to do another half a cup. And 
another quarter cup of water. nice and pulverized and pour that in there I'll clean up this mess and we'll get the molds out and we'll do that layer okay so I got my molds here they're firm not totally frozen solid but firm and I'm just gonna spoon in strawberry over the top and I'm gonna leave enough room for whipped cream so I gotta be careful here Okay, so we'll get those in the freezer and I'll leave those a little bit longer than the, I did the base because I want that firm enough to where when I put the whipped cream on the top and spread it, it doesn't mix with the strawberry. I'll see you when that's ready. Okay, well that got qu hard quicker than I thought it would. So I'm going to try and clean these up a little bit so I don't... junk in my whipped cream. Okay. I'll wipe that up later. I'll wipe that all up later. All 
Okay, so now we're just going to take my whipped cream and I'm using heavy extra he extra creamy Cool Whip. You can always make your own. I'm just going to spread it on the top. Okay, so we'll get these in the freezer, freeze them solid, and then try them up for the freeze dryer. I'll see you then. Okay, so there we have my first treat that I made, which is the strawberry upside down shortcake candy. And I put them on the tray upside down as well because I didn't want to disturb the uh, whipped cream. They look pretty good. All these cute little shapes. Oh, let's do a nice pretty little taste test. Trying to find a couple few pretty ones to show you in the camera. Yeah, that's the way they came out. Pretty little shapes with stars and the patterns and all that stuff. That one kind of looks like an old Rolo and a heart. You can see the layers in them. You got the, the cake, the strawberry, and the whipped cream. Cake, strawberry, whipped cream. Cake, strawberry and whipped cream. So let's get these taste tested. Yeah. That is the perfect texture that I was looking for. Let's see if I can break this in half. I want you to see how soft these are. See? 
That's what I was looking for, not a hard. But a melt in your mouth. It's soft. I'm happy with that. I'm going to get those bagged up. I am happy with those. Those came out delicious. Leave a few out. Leave a few out for my brother to test. There you have it. A strawberry shortcake candy. Or cookies. I might call them cookies because it's kind of like a cookie texture now. I think we'll change that to cookies. We're going to call those cookies. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you want, look out for my next video, which is going to be, what did I do next? They're all done now in the freeze dryer. I did the, uh, oh yeah, the Suzy Q's. The Suzy Q's made with chocolate and whipped cream. So I'll get those out and we'll on the next video and I hope you check them out and let me know what you think thanks for watching